Hey guys, Basil Mole with Grayson Hobby, and today we have some more FPV news, and other hobby related news. Just a little update, uh, actually some mainly some stuff that we got in here that yeah. either is new, we haven't had in a while, etc. Um, but if you guys last watched last video we had, it was about the Mamba not supporting 5 volt. Yes. Or 3.3 volt. Yes, and literally the day we published the video, within hours, Horizon released a new receiver. Instantly, I jumped on, got that sucker ordered in, got him in. And they did it under the radar because there was no dealer news. Yeah, there's like nothing on it. Um, but they released the SPM 4650 yep. uh, serial racing receiver version 2. And today, after this video, we'll do an in-depth review on that guy. Yeah, so we're going to do a little tutorial on that because there's a lot of, uh, actually not a lot of information right. on that was the problem. So we'll go over that in a separate video. We have X9 lights in stock. So we have the blue, black, and uh, white in stock. Two different versions of the software on it, which is kind of interesting. There's the ER Sky firmware, I believe it's called, and then there's the OpenTX version. Uh, I personally flashed OpenTX over on the one I got here. This, this is actually mine um, that we'll be using for future videos because yep. I actually really like the feel of this little guy. But uh, this is a great little budget radio. You'll be seeing this with our combos first, and then we'll probably sell it by itself once stock is right. uh, back up because there was very limited availability on these things coming out. We'll probably do a separate view on that as well. And speaking of radios, we also have the new GNB uh, LiPo packs for... Yes, so if you guys have QX7s and you want to uh, update to LiPo packs from the NIMPAC and all that, uh, so the GMB pack is a nice little affordable pack. It has the XT30 connector for a lot of the guys with the XT30 chargers. chargers, as well as the balance lead they'll plug straight into the QX7. So this is a nice lightweight, uh, high voltage LiPo battery pack. From GMB. And just to, re to remind you guys, when you charge this, you charge it outside <coughs> the QX7, right? Yeah, you have to take it out of the QX7. All right, All right what else we got? Oh, uh, for speed on the free sky, we got these cool new airplane. Airplane? Wait, airplane? What is that? Airplane receiver gyro uh, GPS modules. We got a six and a four, uh, six and an eight channel. Um, yeah, these are pretty cool. Yeah, these are new. This is a, for the guys that want to mess with the GPS and all like for the, the FPV wings. safe style flying and all that. Uh, yeah, return home, all that features. So, so it has um, like a virtual fence. It has a return to home. It has a stability mode. It has all that stuff. Um, you can read more. So if you like to tinker, go with that. If you don't like to tinker, don't go with that. <laughs> Not new, but we did get the R9MMs back in stock. Um, we are going to have a little combo on the website with the receiver module and the transmitter module together. Uh, so check out our website for that. So we got some good stuff on that. Yep. Uh, moving on from there. Well, while we're talking about receivers, we got from KS Servo the RS610 receiver. This is a little DSM2, DSMX receiver. It also binds with Walkera, but I don't know anybody using Walkera radios Wait, anymore. What's that for? For planes. Planes! Yeah. It also has PPM and S bus though, so you can use okay. it on the quad if you really want to. Um, not preferred though. Yeah. But a great little park fly receiver, $10 receiver. Um, these things are going to be good for your basic park fire foam, foamies and all that. DSMX. Yeah, it does bind DSM2 and DSMX, so if you got the older DSM2 radios, they'll still work. And again, we'll do a video on this one because the directions don't match what you actually have to do. Yeah, so, yep, and there's that. Another back in stock, it's technically a VTX, uh, but, you know, while we're on that, sure. the race VTX is from AKK. They came back in stock. Those things sold out. We did that video. They yeah. were gone, like, by the end of the day. Yeah. So a $10 um, VTX. Can yeah, so actually for the guys that already got one, got them in, put them in quads, I want to hear your feedback on that because I hadn't heard anything on the review part mm -hmm. of it. So let us know what you think about those while we're at it. Immersion RC. So we finally got the rapid fire modules in. This is an updated version, I believe. They apparently did something. I think it's just software update. I don't think it's our hardware. But we do have the rapid fire modules in for anybody that's buying the HDOs, HD3s, etc. cetera. And uh, even their new stuff? Yeah. I don't know. If it's you're looking for a rapid fire module, we have them in stock now. Yes. I'm moving on from that. Two clips. If you need tools. What are these? Hex wrenches. So, two millimeter, three millimeter, 1.5, 2.5. Okay. Yeah, so if you're looking for a nice little hardware set, X Hobby Allen wrench kits in, um, a lot of guys ask me for tools and all that, and we haven't really had good ones for a while. We had yeah. the Rotorite ones for a minute, but uh, I think these are actually nicer, the nice little plastic case they come in, so you don't lose them all. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's nice for your your gear bag, stuff like that. You can well mention Rotorite, so I got me ADD. Uh -oh. um, the Run Cam, Rotorite. Oh, him. the road, uh, the Swift, Rotorite Swift. Discontinued. Gone. Uh, I don't know. They still can make variations. I of think it. they're making a micro version now, Probably. but full size yeah. that everybody was using in the Ishin Wizards and all that. Yep. They're gone, guys. Gone. So if you're looking for the Rotorite uh, run cam version, look yeah. no further because they're done. I think we talked about these last video, but I'm 
I'm not sure, but we did get the Mamba Mini stacks in. The F7, the, F, yeah. F7 22 and the so, uh, MK2s and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, F7 22 and the Minis also. These are D-Shot 1200s. Um, F7 flight controllers, really nice. If you get the full-size version, it also has a Speedy B, B Bluetooth in it, so you can hook it up to your... Uh, I actually checked it earlier with my iPhone. And that was pretty cool. So it's actually nice because now you can do wireless communication uh, programming and all that through your phone. You don't have to hook it up to a computer. Um, so that's really cool. And I literally had zero setup on it whatsoever, right. solder wires, and was able to bind. So that's pretty cool. Um, so you basically were on Betaflight. Without, without connecting the computer. Yeah. Yeah. On your phone. Um, so we had the field, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, moving on from to Diatone. The crazy, the crazy one. Or yeah. insane. What do they call this? The 369, the GTR 369S. It's in stock. This is a new three inch stretch frame so instead of the regular x is a stretch x um it has a tbs antenna which is nice it's got the tbs unify on it the five volt system uh has a nice little led on the top so you can change the color of the led uh one of the big things is it's got a 1.8 millimeter foxier predator micro four on it um that's a nice camera um, so it's also got the tbs unify uh or i'm sorry the tbs antenna um it has the f7 stack on this so this has the wow. f7 mini stack so this is one of the first ones, I think, from Diatone to that come the with first, the F7 yeah. stack as well. Will that run uh, 4S? This is a 6-cell 3-inch quad. 6S, 3 um, So the guys that want ridiculous power, ridiculous speed, and all that, there you go. Enjoy. And so the comp to accommodate the 6S crowd, we got the GMB 550s and 6S, right? Yes, 6-cell, six, six 550 milliamp GMBs are in. Very limited quantities. They'll probably be gone by the time this video is yep. even out. Um, Mamba 1408 motors on these are 2800 kV, so it's uh, instead of 4000 kV, they're 2800. Awesome quad. I think uh, there's a bunch of reviews that are probably popping up already, and everybody's like, holy crap on this thing. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So I know we do speed tests, and we're not, we're okay at them. Um, they, they, try, they draw a lot of attention, either good or bad. But if you guys want to see a speed test on a Diatone 6 inch, 3 inch quad, um, yeah. put a big comment below one thing to keep in mind guys if you're gonna get batteries you are gonna have to change the connector because this sucker's coming with an xt60 now oh that was a last know. minute change this on this batch i want to say the first batch was xt30s i didn't realize that um XT these are coming 60. with xt60 so you will have to do some soldering so for the battery would you change the xt60 oh you on would this? change this i would battery. probably change that to an yes. xt60 for those who don't want to solder we do have um converters yeah, and for guys, that a lot of people ask me, like, hey, I really like the Stretch X, myself included. But I don't um, want to go 6X. But I want 4-cell. So if you guys really want it, we did get the 369S uh, frame kits in stock. So the 3-inch stretch frame kits are in stock. Uh, so for the guys that want to either build their own or that's convert not a bad yours. price. No, they're, that's a good kit. Or if you bought the 369 and you crashed it because 6S is too fast, there you go, you rebuild it. <laughs> uh, another thing we got in from uh, Full, Full Speed? Speed RC is a new company we're carrying. This is the toothpick. So we have the toothpick and the toothpick, toothpick Pro. Pro. So the difference is one, this is gonna be more like your Sailfly from um, Happy Model. It's got the 1103 8000KV motors um, and the little two blade gem fan props. If you get the Pro model, it's gonna be a lot heavier. This is a lot beefier, but this is 1106 4500KV motors. Um, it almost not, bag, it's almost too big to be even called a toothpick. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is pretty much might as well be a um, two-inch diet because yeah. it's running two-inch four-blade props. Right. The small look, but bigger performance, whereas if you want the toothpick small, micro, ultralight, right. then we have the toothpick as well. That's a lot of stuff. That's I mean, we've got a bunch of stuff in, um, but a lot of it's pretty new and hope to get reviews in the coming weeks. So, so will this fit in a new, that new radio? No, okay, guys. Um, X9 Lite is going to use 18650 cells. Oh, wow. And if you only have 18500s like I did, oh you made gosh. it work. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, Did I see some bolts? In yes, there's a screw in between that and bolts. Um, so you got to get crafty sometimes. If you guys can see that, there's literally a screw in between that. Oh, my gosh. Um, hey, I wanted to try it, okay? It actually worked. So July 2nd, um, FreeSky updated their website. There's a firmware update for these. If you're running OpenTX, it does support D16 mode with the newest update. Um, if you're running the ER Sky software, which is kind of different, it's their own house brand firmware, not OpenTX, that comes native with the D16 firmware as okay. well. Prices, from what I understand from FreeSky, I don't really talk to them as much. They're as going they, up. They're going to go up eventually. So they started out lower, and they're going to end, end up going up as time goes on. So yeah. if you're on the fence, buy it now from Oscar or else, because they will go up. 
I don't know how, by how much, but the price across the board is going to go up as time goes on. Yep. Same thing they did with the X Lite. So 